Okay, everybody, let's continue on another hour of RoboCop. Now, it looks like there may be some optional stuff this way. Oh, you fucker! It's not optional to shoot him in the balls. Ooh, a training disc. Always happy to grab a training disc. Let's go ahead and put that into armor. So now we have... Explosives and high caliber weapons deal 25% less damage. Sweet. Very good. Yeah, that's excellent. Very good. We're continuously improving here. These are where the workers are that we saw who were murdered at first. They're right there. Okay. All right. No, F Fed Roger, I never bought Phasmophobia for the Halloween Marathon. I was going to, and I got sick earlier that week, and we never did it. So I don't have the game. I still have to buy it. <clears throat> That's where I came from. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no. A turret? Okay. Something new. Oh, it blew up. He dropped his grenade and it immediately blew up the turret. It never even got to activate. How cool is that? The turret was completely wasted instantly. Zero challenge to it. Look. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha. Well then, that's one way to do it, I suppose. Hello. Please, don't kill me. Why would I kill you? Do not be afraid. I am a police officer. Go recharge the maximum. I just free. A homeless guy living in the sewers. I just got another upgrade, by the way. Holy crap. Cool. Cool. Oh wait. Double crotch shot, balls. They're holding their balls and they synchronize fall over and their balls exploded. Did you see that? Both of their testicles exploded at exactly the same time. That was something else. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in a video game before. Double ball shots, they both were in incredibly incredible testicular pain. And then they both had the same synchronized death animation. Your balls. Here he goes. Why does his why do his balls explode? Or is that when he dies, he releases all the gas in his groin? Perhaps maybe that's what it is. His his he he uh, shits. His final shit. Explosion when he dies. That could be it. Maybe that's what it is. Hmm. Balls, balls, balls. Oh, am I? Start putting those fuckers down now, huh? That's up. I literally did not need it. Uh, the thing didn't shoot me once. I did defense up temporarily, and then I didn't even need it. Oh god, did you hear that? There's a landmine. Balls, balls, balls. Shot him in his holly jolly jingle balls. Oh god, I hear the mutants down here. You hear him? Oh, it's actually easier to see with the uh, with the night vision on. Jingle balls, jingle balls, shoot you in the groin. 
Hope you didn't need to pee because you're gonna have a problem with that. To recharge. Very nice. I love the freaking ball shot. Please give me a freaking ball shot. Fill my bag with some ball shots. You know I'm ball shot. Shot me in the groin. Shot me in the groin. I love the ball shot, ball shot. You give me ball shot, ball shot. My testicles are ball shot. They're filled with bullets. Very nice. Oh shit. You didn't get one yet? Hold on. I have, I have presents for everyone. I have more than enough for your ball sack, sir. There we go. I have more than enough. I can give a round. Come on. Who knew that Robocop was such a vicious ball shot enthusiast? Oh, God! This guy wanted some. I got, hold on, stay still. Right there. Beautiful ball shots. Absolutely beautiful. Here we go. <laughs> OCB communication internal link connected. Employee account, Wendell Antonowski. Access restriction, CEO only. Lewis. I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. Huh? That son of a bitch. I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. Nice. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. That must be the finale. You you raid OCP headquarters. Wow. The sewage map of Detroit. So Wendell was working for the old man after all, and the old man probably faked his hospitalization. Remember earlier? When we went to the hospital to see him? It could have been complete bullshit. To make you basically not think it was him. But it was him all along. Funny how that works. All right. Balls, balls, balls. Let's go. Are we finishing today? I don't know if OCP is the finale of the game or not. Drive to OCP headquarters. This is it. This might be the finale right now. Look where we just came out. Balls, balls, balls. Please shoot me in the balls. Balls, balls, balls. Oops, my balls, they hurt. Well, we might finish the game today. We have about 45 minutes left on the stream, give or take. I can go a little later if we need to. We try to wrap it up, but obviously I don't want to go too long. Uh, let's see what happens. You shot me in the Robocop. What the fuck? Uh, do you see this glitch? Yo, you see his head? It went away. There was a, a lighting glitch on his head. It was coming up article. A particle artifact was like coming off of his head. There it is. Look. What the hell? You see that, right? Now it's gone again. There it is. What is that? Dude, you got something on your head. Where is it? It went away again. Now where is it? It went... There it is! <laughs> wow. Okay, so no, OCP is not the final level. There's more after. We probably will need another stream. Okay. Alright, so I think we've done everything in the city. I think we're good. They said if they had a better budget, this game wouldn't feel like a AAA game. They just didn't have a good enough budget to make the graphics hold up. That's the problem. Aliens? Oh, he was one of the aliens. See, that, that homeless guy was right. Is he going to kill the old man? We've been analyzing the files that you sent us. 
And it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation. Huh. And get this, it's taking place right now. To put a cherry on top, the old man is in attendance. Just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place, and you'll catch the old man red-handed. That is how I prefer to catch crumbs. You said yourself that you didn't have Welcome time Welcome to for Omni me. Consumer Products. I know who how you may are, I help you? You broke into the security room. Here we go. You're up to something. A hey, meeting Robo, regarding could you resolve life this issue is we're having? What? Right now. I'm talking. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. <laughs> so something else is going on here. Did you hear that? They said, could you resolve this for us? But I don't know where that was taking place. Where was that discussion? You don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators, sir. Sir. Was it this? It was this. Oh, look who it is. It's the reporter again. There's been a security Hello, board shooter. to investigate. But someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome them. <laughs> you are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of old Detroit to create space for Delta City? No, I have a record. I have a record of that issue. <laughs> I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? Yes, OCB cannot hustle innocent people. No, a data breach is against the law. Oh, uh, it's a tough decision. We've been helping her the whole game, right? <clears throat> I guess we'll, I guess, uh, I mean, Robocop, what would he do? Would he do it or not? This is a tough decision. I don't know. It would be out of character for Robocop to do it, except he has, in the movies, a couple times done stuff that he was ordered directly not to do when he knew that it was the right thing to do. So I'm not sure which he would do in this situation. Hmm. Carliga says, you were grandstanding on the data leak, and now it's your time to do the right thing. All right. I will let you stay, but data breach is against the law. Please, just check what OCP is up to, and then decide for yourself what to do with those estimates. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to. So I didn't. Up. Okay, now I make the decision. I now I make the decision for myself. I'm not forced into it. All right, there you go. There you go. To. Okay. Anything in the building? Uh, hmm. No, it doesn't look like it. I was like, oh, maybe there's items. Maybe there's like chests and stuff. But I'm walking around. I don't really see anything. Did you have a career? Develop? I'll do a quick sweep just to check. But <clears throat> it looks Lex Luthor. Cameo appearance. Why can't we go to Sector B? No, there's nothing here. This is a friendly it's just reminder. atmosphere, and the atmosphere is appreciated. It's cool. You can walk around and look around, but since there's nothing the here, it's kind of a waste. Why do I get the feeling on the way out, this place is going to be completely full of those robots, and we're going to have to fight through, like, armies of robots to escape? It feels like that, doesn't it? Like, that's why there's these weird side doors and elevators and stuff. Like, they're going to pop open at any time. Okay. Okay. Out of concern for our employees, Omni Consumer Products have purchased new sleeping bags. 
You will be notified by your supervisor about your options. Well, I went to the bathroom. And remember, your efforts are paying off. Does RoboCop ever have to use the bathroom? Like, does he have to leak hydraulic fluid and, and replace it and stuff? I wonder. There ain't nothing over here. They, they definitely made it a realistic area, which is nice, but there's nothing here. Having it be a big empty area is kind Starting of annoying. Next month, OCP Silver card holders will no longer be allowed to use diamond relaxation areas. Darn. Over here. Could you help me with these doors? What's the point of this? It's completely empty. Look. I don't know why this door even exists, but okay. Scan the lock. <clears throat> okay. Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? Only if I smash them. I need them. permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. Uh, a computer says, what's your favorite Hitman game? Mine's Blood Money. I would say probably Absolution, only because that's the first major one I ever played. I had played previous ones on PC, but not fully. Now, I need to reboot the security system. The malfunction shut down not only the doors, but also a nearby metal detector gate. That should do it. Thanks for your help. Examine the computer. I'm not even listening to him. If the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it, they'll be pissed. So they want me to distract the guard, and then I guess get the data. New door code policy. There's a new enhancement under the Work Smarter program, a new policy for remembering access codes. No more forgotten codes. I know it's a problem with many of you. Happens to me. That's why from now on, every code is a number you can find on a nearby poster. You're welcome. Okay. If we gotta distract them. So, you're still here? Engineering 7, a computer network may have been affected. Security computers connect to a network. It is worth checking if there is another system that needs rebooting. Yeah, it's all brand new. Hasn't been tested before implementation. My boss's idea. I should go and check it out. I'll be on my way. Now I can examine the computer. James Bond movie? Oh, man. See, I've seen a few of the older ones, but only once, so I don't really remember them that much. The one that I saw the most was Casino Royale. I actually really like that movie, so I would say Casino Royale. But if I saw some of the older Bonds, I might actually like them more. It's just been ages since I saw them. <clears throat> I like Sean Connery as Bond. Like, I think he's very charismatic as Bond. I really like that version of Bond. <clears throat> Metal detector went off. How? <laughs> Can't imagine how. All right. So before we do this, a couple of tips have come in. I received a two-dollar tip from an anonymous tipper. Would you consider replaying The Last of Us Part One on PS5 in downtime if a fan donated it? Uh, maybe. When it came out, I skipped it because I was like, you know, it's the same game again, and I I looked into it, and I actually did watch another YouTuber play it. It's literally exactly the same as the first game. The only difference is graphics. It's the same gameplay, <clears throat> the same voice acting, the same music. The, everything's the same. 
they lied when they said that they changed it. They didn't change anything. Even the AI is terrible. It still walks right in front of you when you're firing. It's, it's atrociously bad. Um, if you really wanted to see me ever play it again, I'd probably play that version, but I'm in no rush to play it again. You know, it's the same thing I've played multiple times already. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I received a $3 tip from Tony Salami. I never. I noticed you never played Max Payne 2. Would you do a playthrough of it or another Max Payne rerun? Well, I liked Max Payne 1. I would consider Max Payne 2, but considering the fact that they are remaking them, right? I think I should just wait and just play the remake, which is going to be both of them together. That's what they said. Max Payne 1 and 2 will basically become one continuous game in this remake that's coming out. So I'll probably just play that. Okay. Estimates. Do you have them? All right, I'll give the empathic reply. Make good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. But there is one more issue. Oh, good. Security footage. If I'm going to expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you... Destroying evidence of a crime is beyond my programming. Who's talking about that? Shuffling database records will do just fine. All you need to do is recharge yourself using the computer in the security room. Uh, you could sure use a pick-me-up. You look pale, to be how honest. How would she even know this? She's not a tech person. <clears throat> I will do what needs to be done to protect the innocent. Thanks to you, I'll be able to focus on what needs to be done as well. Stay safe, citizen. All right, Kagome, I'll see you tonight. See you for ah. See you for like a dragon. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Scan the area for the access number. They said it would be on a poster nearby. That's incredibly stupid. Why is there no one in the security room? Isn't that the point? What's, what's the point of having a security room monitoring everything if no one monitors the stuff being monitored in the security room? Right? <laughs> Great. I did some shuffling. Thank you. The people of old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them. <clears throat> All right. Done. That side mission's done, and now we can get back to the main plot and get to the old man. Let me get that door for you. I saw that. Oh no. The way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? Oh no. I can't move right now. Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You? probably know that better than anyone else you deal with filth more than any of us these miserable people crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit but not for much longer I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations so that we finally get the poor criminal elements out of our great city exciting isn't it you and me together We'll clean the city right up. <clears throat> What's for dinner tonight? I think we're having a tomato soup with a side of Italian-style pasta salad, if I remember correctly. I think that's what we're having today. I could be wrong. Oh, don't go that way. I'm curious again. Anything over here? I always like to investigate a little bit just to make sure I'm not missing Why anything. Why was he smiling? My son did. Yeah, I skipped it. Do you think they hung it upside down? Who knows? Modern art's trash. Look at this view. What a view of Detroit! Looks pretty realistic, honestly. That's pretty much what a major city looks like from up there. You know, I've been to up many major skyscrapers. You have to stop coming to the office. You no many. longer work here. You were fired last month. What? 
Why? What? The guy keeps coming by. How do they let him in? If he was fired, how does he keep getting in? How does that even make sense? Right? The premium lounge. Wow. Now, this is a schmoozy, fancy bathroom. Look at this. You even get towels to wipe your, your crotch when after you, you pee or poo. Maybe they don't have toilet paper. Use a towel to wipe your ass. So you're completely caked in shit when you're done. Very nice. Very nice. Detroit become humans is actually here. Now that would be interesting. Robocop and Detroit become human crossover plot. Whoa. <laughs> that would be interesting. Nathan, what's going on, Nathan? Thank you for gifting a membership. Nathan has gifted a membership and it went to Gravedigger TV. Congrats, Gravedigger. Be sure to thank Nathan if you're around. And thank you very much, Nathan. That gets us to 639 members. Remember, my goal for today was to hit 650 members by the end of both streams. Well, we are coming to the end of this stream. We got about a half an hour left. We do have a late night stream of Like a Dragon tonight. We'll see how that goes. Uh, can someone take this robot away from here? I'm trying to work. Push that guy out of the window. Here. Look around. It's a trap. See if we're missing something. It's a trap. Play the presentation. Watch. The whole thing's a trap. <clears throat> Do not be amazed when a man grows rich. For when he dies, he takes nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. What? As a front runner in human machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. <laughs> With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure Afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long uh, way since me. OCP's first <clears throat> cyborg. Do not say I did not warn you. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life. Or should I say, after life. Right. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, RoboCop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote RoboCop. Afterlife, eternity, today. Wow. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Is she really a cyborg? Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial it's actress. It's just fake. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling afterlife. <laughs> Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man canceled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? Wow. Interesting. Uh, thank you so much to Nathan. Nathan Smith has gifted five more memberships to the community. Congratulations to Nate Drake, RK, Bob, John Kanashige, and Misho Tito. <laughs> Misho Tito. Isn't that a reference from uh, from uh, the Santa Claus? I think it is. All right. Well, thank you very much, Nathan, for the five gifted memberships. That'll jump us up to 644 and climbing. And again, to anyone who just got a gifted membership, be sure to thank Nathan for the gift. And uh, happy holidays to you, Nathan. Thank you so very much. Okay. Uh, are you selling a defective product? What about the money? Where did they conduct their research? Where's the old man? Uh, where'd they conduct the research? Where did they conduct the research for this project? 
I don't know. But I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. Okay. Are you selling an effective product? So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. Wow. At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. Because <laughs> they'd be dead, you know? And what about the money? What about all the money that went to do research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. That's how it often goes with these cutting-edge projects. I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful Robocops before you came along. Yeah, well, we know about all the other versions, too. Right? Ed, and then um, the one that was the guy who was on Nuke in Robocop 2, and now these new robots that, what's his name, Weller uh, introduced? Not Weller, Becker introduced. So, uh, Zobeezy, thank you for the super chat. He's doing a whole bunch of lyrics for a song I don't recognize. So, thank you, Zobeezy, for that. I'm not going to read those out because I have no idea what musical tune to sing them to because I don't know. But I appreciate the super chat. Thank you for the support and happy holidays to you, Zobeezy. Okay. Uh, where's the old man? Where is the old man? Probably in his office at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. Fuck him. I disagree. A new PCB? Will it be any good? Mine right now is crazy good. So unless this thing is like outstanding, I don't think I'm going to be switching. No, I have 5.3. This one's only 5.1, right? I'm curious if I look at it, right? This one would have piercer, ammo feeder. Some rounds may explode, dealing more damage. Eh, it's not that good. It's just not that good. And I would need to have very a very specific path, right? Then again, this one does have four. It has four different... Uh, Four different damage ups. This one only has three damage ups, right? But I think the catch here is the accuracy. This one has the big buff to accuracy. So I'm doing ball shots and they're literally all hitting the testicles. With this one, there's no accuracy buff at all. All you get is that auto feeder, piercer, and explosive rounds, but the accuracy might not be nearly as good, right? And I'm just going to stick with what I've got for now. I really like that one. So, uh, Sunday said the old college try. Remember you always said that in your older vids? Of course, the old college try is what it's called. Um, you want to give it a shot. You want to give it a fair shot before you write it off as something you can't do. <clears throat> That's the old college try. Magazine capacity. Oh, I have one of these. Look. Oh, cool. But then again, magazine capacity doesn't matter. Neither does reload speed because I don't ever have to reload. Yeah. This this ability makes those a moot point. You don't need them at all. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Hold on. Ooh. 31. Well then, that was a good one. Th that one could replace a ton of stuff. Like, what's something that, that, that would benefit? Uh, 27 to 31, that would be, that would benefit that. Accuracy, wow, it would go from weapon spread from 23 to 31, that's huge. That's a giant increase. Because I don't care about reload speed, I'm not reloading. I don't care about magazine capacity, I'm not, I'm not ever reloading. All I care about is armor piercing. <clears throat> And damage. That's literally it. Nothing else matters. Armor piercing and damage. So. or and, and weapon spread. So I guess that's the biggest jump. Right? We have two we can do here actually. So let's do, let's do this. Right? And then let's do this. 
Nice. We increased it even more. So now 60% weapon spread reduction and 91% weapon damage and 51% armor piercing. Oh, wait. Can I do any? No. I was going to say... Oh, I can. I can even increase my armor piercing. Oh, man. Look. Wow. Eternal Ape Bomb says, can you do an impromptu full-scale review for this game if I finish? Maybe in the credits. I don't think I'll do a real full review, but in the credits I'll review it like I usually do. Casanova says, the room that we're in right now is exactly the same as the boardroom from the movie, so it's really cool that it's such a close representation. That is that is really cool. I agree. I haven't seen the movie in many, many years, so I don't remember that, but that's pretty cool to know. All right. More, more buffs. Like, we needed more buffs. Like, we weren't good enough. We just got more buffs to our weapon. All right, old man. Time to pay the piper. Put your hands up. You are under arrest. That's not the old man. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. Wow. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away early Wow. We at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? So he's dead. About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground. Especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife and Delta City, for that matter. Huh. Wendell is still out there. Wendell is still out there. The market will take care of him. With no one to finance his stunts, he'd need an army willing to mindlessly fight for him. And for free. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Wow. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the arms expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! What the fuck? It's time to celebrate. Uh... Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo. That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. Did they disappear? He called them in. They're gone. They disappeared. <laughs> they completely... Oh. <clears throat> They're over in the side room. Oh my... Oh my god. They're dancing on the table. Oh my... This game is something else. But it literally is accurate to Robo... You know what I mean? Like... This could have been the real RoboCop because 3. Because of the tragedy that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. Anything over here? Mourning is not included as work time. Thank you. No, I, I, like, absolutely. They, this, oh. Optimal temperature? Please see the temperature in the office between 68 to 78 degrees. It's the optimal temperature for work. I like LA. Changing the thermostat to the ozone layer to private California heat option is too much. I got a bonus for reading that. I did. I wonder if that 
is of any importance. Like, what was the point of reading that? I don't know. But anyway, what I was going to say was, if there wasn't a really shitty, bad RoboCop 3 movie, like, this movie absolutely would have... Or this game would have made an absolutely great RoboCop 3. Like, it's right in the vein of what you would have seen in the RoboCop movies. You know what I mean? Like, to a T, this is the same plot, the same tone, the same humor, the same dark writing. It absolutely is in line with, with the RoboCop stuff, so... It kind of is a shame they actually made a real RoboCop 3 that was so bad, right? RoboCop 3 is an atrociously bad movie. I remember it's just such a shitty movie. What the hell? Wait a minute. Is this the model from RoboCop when the th when the thing comes in and obliterates them all? Remember the robot comes into the boardroom and murders all the people? Is this supposed to be the model from that? Why did they keep it? Why did they keep it in this room? That's pretty stupid. <laughs> Why would you keep that? Well, that's a that's an interesting Easter egg. I don't know. <laughs> that's funny. I thought there would be an item. No, there's just a silly Easter egg. All right, I guess we're out of here now, right? We've already done all this. Okay. So I guess for fans of uh fans of the movie, this is like big, big fan service, right? Which is the cool. I mean, is again, dead. that's really neat. That's why yeah. I, I wish it kind of was this I was the third heard. movie. So what do we do about afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what hmm. now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the Expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. But if the whole department's fired... They don't have authority to do anything. She technically doesn't have authority to do anything with Becker. Like she's just a private citizen now, right? <clears throat> what about you? Are you? Do you still have any authority to do anything as a cop? If they fired the whole department, does, is RoboCop still okay? I wonder. Look what else we found. Missing office equipment. To the one who borrowed the stapler once more, I congratulate you on your courage. Toilet issue one. We will all aspire to higher positions. I want to remind a certain person in the room that sneaking into the executive restroom is prohibited from lower level employees. This is a reward for effective work and beyond. We got, we got experience for finding these notes. And I got another level. Oh my god. Okay. Just for reading these notes, I got hundreds of, of points. Hundreds of experience points. I don't think there's any more. I did look around on the other side earlier. There was nothing. Oh, wait. Dude, I keep finding stuff over here. A suicide note? Dear employees, if you're struggling with a mental crisis, remember jumping to early retirement entails more work for your coworkers. Be a good friend. Don't do anything drastic. That's not a suicide note. That's a suicide denial note. Don't, don't do it. Right? <clears throat> wow. Although, I don't know how effective that would be. What if the reason you want to kill yourself is because you hate your job? Right? Then that, that might make you jump. They're like, ha, I'll show those fuckers. I'll give them more work. Look. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. Such a tragedy, but uh, are our bonuses safe? Do they know who will be the new CEO? I hope it won't be that Becker jerk from Security Council. Too late. Will the Japanese take over the company now? Well, where are we going now? Right? It's weird. We've been doing this for hours, and there hasn't been, like, any chapter end. It's, it's a really long chapter of the game right now, right? Okay. Achievement. <clears throat> Cashing out. Complete the man himself quest. 
Well, guys, we probably are not gonna have much time to do any progress right now. We only got like 10, 15 minutes left on the stream. I don't think we have time to do a whole segment now. So I guess we'll see if this is short. If it's too long, we probably will just call it quits. You're here? Good. Proceed to the main stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend waiting for you there already. Great. We have to be on the lookout for Antonovsky. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. <laughs> okay, don't smile. That's the robot for Freaking Robocop 2. That's the one that was controlled by the drug dealer. They put the drug the drug it's the drug guy's time. head in there. The criminal. Welcome His everyone brain. to the Detroit yep. Arms Expo. Where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban yeah. warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party. That wasn't a minute, that was like two seconds. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Uh. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and Robocop 2. Yeah, that one worked really well. That's right. But much like our late CEO, Robocop is the past. And we need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. It's going to open fire on the crowd, isn't it? <laughs> Every time they introduce something UEDs new, it never works. will be exclusively <clears throat> protecting the streets of Detroit since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm. UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test. The protection of the mayoral election rally. Oh no. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for Robocop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? The police did not strike. We were fired. Ha! Huh? The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so, my machines are superior in every way. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for Robocop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's <laughs> just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that Robocop's words and actions have influence ratings for both candidates several times already. So, Robocop. Could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mills promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you, contrary to your creator's interest, <laughs> encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary? I support no one. I support no one. That's surprising. Based on your earlier comments, many people came to the conclusion that you were siding with Kuzak. But I think we can take your statement as a withdrawal of support. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots. It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find the remote. The remote? He lost the remote? And where did I put it? You're kidding. Is is that normal? Huh? I it's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. Wow. 
They're gonna storm the the expo. What is happening? I lost my remote. That's what's happening. Are there? Oh, there's plenty more coming. It's our flagship product, after all. But I can't do anything to control them without the remote. What a dunce. Anything in this room? Oh, yeah, there's a box coming through. <clears throat> Only several billion more. Oh, hi, how you doing? Haha, <laughs> you ran a close to personal, huh? Damn. I'm criminal. Oh, shit. Uh, are we good? Oh, Jesus! The door. Falls you secure. remember? No, damn it! But there's another way. Okay. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. Take me to the expo depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. Nothing else here. Just healing items that I don't need. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Look at this. A new gun. An S a new SMG. This is a brand new weapon. We haven't used this yet. We have to give it a shot. What is your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember differently. Your memory is glitched. That gun's terrible. The gun's literally awful. My, my handgun's better than any weapon I'm picking up. Seriously. Oh, the frame rate's bad. What's funny about this is now, I can just go over and get my so fast. Up to 75%. It's so much better than this guy's watching me. I couldn't really recover my health after 20, so I was always about to die. Another one. Heavy spray machine gun action. Four. The standard take it in the foot! I shot him in the foot like a hundred times. Give up. Give up. They're like the droids from uh, the Star Wars prequels. Oh shit. Abide my jurisdiction. Abide my jurisdiction is supposed to be respect my authority. <laughs> oh, sniper. What's up, Matt? How you doing? Kind of sucks this is the end of the stream. Pretty action-packed segment, but... I don't think it's going to take that much longer. It doesn't seem like that big of a map. Ooh. Aha. 
chips. A bunch of chips. No dip, just chips. Anything else in here? Nah, just a bunch of stuff to grab and toss. Like, no no items to grab. I mean, why would there be crime evidence here, right? It would make sense. This is a convention This center. EMP device, how does it affect me? Don't worry. Nothing will happen. To your brain, at least. And that's the part you cherish the most. Isn't it? You'll be fine. Pave the way to the depot and don't bother yeah. your head with that. We don't want your wiring to burn out. Gotcha. No reload is amazing, by the way. Not having a reload at all is so good. Oh, it's an egg. Oh, it's friendly? Or do I have to fight it? Destroy it. All right, boss time. Why is this device here? First, we sell the robots. Then we sell a device that is Fucking blew it up. I gotta throw shit at him. That works. I gotta hit him with direct, directly with landmines. It's also gonna help immensely that I'm gonna uh, recover my HP up to 75. Nice, big jump. I'm not even really that afraid. He doesn't take that much health away. And I can reco auto recover it, so it's not a big deal anymore. Not like the first time I fought him. Any throwables in here? No. Can I go up? I wonder what's up here. Uh, nothing much. A bunch of computer monitors. Well, that's not very helpful. Wait a minute. Can he not come up here? I don't think he can come up here. I can just stand here the whole time and fight him, huh? He's gonna take me just to kill him because I do so little damage, right? Like, this is totally out of beat up. You can't do anything to really get me up here. Look, these guns don't even really get me up here at all. Yeah, this is way easier than the first time where you had to fight them in that warehouse. Bullets! 
<laughs> Take an hour. That shit took forever. Oh. Even just holding down the trigger, that hurt my hand. <laughs> uh. It disappeared, by the way. It completely disappeared from the game. Good. We're close. And don't be afraid. Even if the EMP device fries your circuits or something, is it really such a big sacrifice to... This guy's such an asshole. We're almost done, but there's still a Stop little bit way mess. to go, and I'm out of time. I'm willing to make it. Hopefully it just auto-saved. It looks like it did. It looks like the game just auto-saved. So, this is where we're going to call it quits, guys. Alright, in fact, we can test right now. Perfect. Wow. This is exactly right where I want to be. Cool. All right, guys. That's it for today. Great progress. It looks like one more stream. Now, the question is, should it be a three-hour daytime stream or a two-hour night stream? That I don't know. I don't know how much is left. I'd like some feedback on that, and I'm sure those of you who are watching now uh, live but also on demand will probably let me know how much is left in the game. But i definitely uh, like to see how it, how it ends, obviously. It's been a great stream. Wow, we're, we're crazy powerful like a tank now. I mean, take a look at the difference between that Ed fight versus the one earlier in the game, right? Went really well. So, thank you all. And thank you all for your support on today's stream as well. That was very nice of you. Live audience was great. Thank you for that. On demand viewers, thank you for watching. I hope you're still enjoying. And it looks like next time around, whenever that may be, when I play RoboCop, we are going to wrap it up. So, thank you guys. Until next time, stay safe. And don't commit any crimes. He's going to be coming for you. All right, see you then.